Hey, you, I need you to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Go to the Lamentations. Lamentations 4. You got that? Read what you got. Hey, my sis, with the cart. Listen carefully. Read. You believe in the Bible, sis? Listen carefully, sis. To our people today, come, hey, sisters, come talk to me real quick. I got a question. You can hear me? Should we still, today, as a black race, keep depending on America to save us or to change? Why not, sis? Possible. Wash your hands. It won't happen. Watch what seconds. God says. Stay Read. Home if you're the book Thank of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. Read. As for us, as for us, as for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American man, woman, and child, as for us, read. Our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. It says, Our eyes has yet failed for our vain help. We keep marching and begging this nation to change. When this nation was built off of your backs, That's right. it is utter stupidity, it is insanity to beg a country, a nation that it came to prominence off of your back, right. off of hundreds of years of free slave labor. They profit off of you. You are for a robber, I mean, they, you are for a spoil. They literally thrive off of your destruction. Why would they change? Why would they change? Read. In our watching, we have watched for a nation. For a what? For a nation that could not save us. We have watched for America to save us. We have watched for the so-called white man to save us. But he continues to put his foot on your neck. When will we wake up? That's right. Where will we gather together? Zephaniah 2 and 1. When will we stop depending on another people to save us when we can do for ourselves? When will we stop looking for jobs and start creating businesses? When will we stop going to Christian church and reading the Bible ourselves? That's right. Read. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1 gather yourselves together the Bible says that the Israelites should gather themselves together stop depending on other people to save you they are not going to save you black man and black woman they will not save you Hispanic man and Hispanic woman their job is only to oppress you that is their job sister my sisters what's your name come talk to me real quick what you got going on sis you believe in the Bible Y'all believe in the Bible? All praises, listen to this, read. Gather yourselves together. Yay, gather together. Oh nation. A what? Oh nation, read. not desire. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites. That's right. The nation of Israel. And God commands you to gather yourselves together. Stop being divided. Black men. Marry your sisters, right. black women. Stop beating your chest against your black man. He came into slavery with you. He was beaten with you. He was emasculated and castrated in front of you. He was hung from trees in front of you. Why beat your chest on a man who was oppressed? In the 60s, the white man and the white woman told you that your man was oppressing you. How can a man oppress you when he's being hung from trees? Right. How can he oppress you when he's being chewed up by dogs and beaten by batons? He himself is oppressed. That's right. Read it again. Only one. Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. What's your name, bro? Calvin. Well, I'm sorry, what was your question? Calvin. Calvin, what was your question? No, I was just saying that the fact that that's the one, we the only race on why the face we of the earth being oppressed. Right, we are being oppressed. You know why? I mean, from every nationality. You're right. You are 100% right, right? Yes. Watch this. Read what you got, and then we're going to jump to... Uh, uh, Deuteronomy 28. Yes, I want him to uh, read something. Read, read. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Read. Gather yourselves together. Yay, gather together. Oh nation, not desire. So like you said, we are only oppressed. Give me that uh, in Deuteronomy 28, only oppressed, right? We are oppressed right. by everybody. Because yeah. we, we tend to think it's just the white man, right? Yeah. And he is the main culprit. And another thing too, they put it with the propaganda, the media, the whole nine. Agreed. 
against us. Now we at the point where we hate each other. The Bible says that. You are 100% right. The Bible, Calvin, right? The Bible says that, right? So we're going to get something, right? Because we mistake, we think that it's only that white man. And he is, in fact, one of them. The big one. He's the big one. But it's all of them, like you said, Chinese people, Arab people, African people, because we're not Africans. They all oppress us. That's why they all can come into your community and thrive in your communities and in their communities. Right. Watch this. Listen, listen carefully, Calvin. Reed. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 33. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. We go to work. They own businesses. In a land that they took from us. They took all of the resources. My sister, come talk to me. They took all of our resources. And they and their children benefit from us. Meanwhile, we are the ones that, that do the labor. Thank you for doing your part. Read it again. The fruit of thy land, your work, from your land, read. And all thy labor, and all of your hard work, from the sweat of your brow and your son's brow, read. Shall a nation, shall a what? Shall a nation, shall the white man, shall the Arab man, shall the Chinese man, are any of those people our race of people? The Bible says, all the fruit of your labor shall another nation reap, which thou knowest not eat up. They're going to benefit from it. They're going to send their children to college based on it. They're going to build their children yeah. trust funds and, and uh, businesses on your labors, off of your backs. Yeah. Read. And thou shalt be only oppressed. And what? Only oppressed and crushed always. And they only are going to oppress you. All this uh, in the news, they were talking about Chinese people, black people need to uh, join together with Chinese people against oppression. Why? When they'll beat our sisters behind in their stores in front of us and, and, and then we need to join with them? Somebody need to knock them upside their damn head. That's what it sounds like. If, if, if my wife can go in the store to buy beauty supplies and they beat my wife, I'm not thinking joining together with them. I'm thinking of knocking their damn head off of their shoulders for hitting on my wife, for punching on my wife. We are the only people that are, will stupidly go and join with the people that are oppressing us. When the Bible says they will only use you for their own benefit, and while they're benefiting off of you, they will oppress you. You understand what the Bible says, sis? Sis, what's, what's my sister's name? So you told me you're sis. Sis, what's your name, sis? Thank you. Sis, what's your name, sis? Oh, June. Sorry. I'm sorry? June? Yeah. June and uh, Calvin, right? Watch what the Bible, now we read it with you, right? Watch what the Bible says, and I'm gonna ask you a question, sis. Well, matter of fact, I'll ask you a question first. Should we, black, Hispanic, and Native American people, keep trying to join with people that time and time again keep oppressing us? No. No, we shouldn't, right? Watch what the Bible says, read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. Actually, no, go back to 33. Yes, sir. That's what I wanted, read. Verse 33, Read. the fruit of thy land uh -huh. and all thy labors Read. shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. Right, so they move into your communities. Uh, what's, what's the rapper's name? Young Jesus' wife just sat up there and said, our uh, black people's relationship with, with Asian people's relationship is they are entrepreneurs. They go into black communities and have stores. Right. You come into Asian communities and you are customers. Yeah. So they own stores in your communities and their communities. That's right. The fruit of your labor, and they, they the benefit loans. from. And they get the loan right. to go in the they neighborhoods. Do. And they get approved to go They the benefit from your labor. That's what the Bible is saying, Read. Shall be only oppressed and they oppress you. They take your money, then they call you a nigga and beat your tail and kick you out of their store. But I got one right? quick thing. What's that, bro? These celebrities. These celebrities out here are promoting the same propaganda they doing. Right, they are. They are. And they do the same colors as us? Um, Maccabees. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, second Ezra. Uh, secret plots. Five and 73, 72. Right? Watch this. That's supposed to be that way. But the point is, we need to, to stop buying into it. I'm not worried about the celebrities right. because they already have their reward and some of them will repent. Nonetheless, we have to stop falling for the okie doke. The white man and the Chinese man and all of them didn't change the, the, the play. They just called it a different name. Right. That's right. But it's the same play. You know how they do? You know the biggest play they got? Dividing the black woman against the black man. That's right. And that's how they that's, do that's it That's the now. play. And you know how they do that? Read. Uh, uh, 573. You got it? Right, they do it through, like you said, their media. They do it through TV. Uh, not just that, education. 
They do yeah. it through school. Yeah. They do it through the media, uh, social media, you internet, know, you know this music. They promote the black you got it. more and more and more. And uh, first first address, uh, 5 and 73, I think. Get that real quick. Somebody somebody find that for me. Right? You got it? Read what you got. Let me see. Uh, start up as verse. Uh, yeah, 73. Read Actually, start at uh, verse 72. Yes, sir. The book of 1st Ezra, chapter 5, verse 72. Now, like you no. said, they use their media to, to propagate these things, right? Read. But the heathen of the land, lying heavy upon the inhabitants of Judah. Thank the you for the inhabitants of Judah is the Israelites. Contact these people on this sign like is who God's talking about. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And we can prove that because the Bible said these people would do things like go into slavery, have their identity stripped from them. They would be oppressed even today. All of these people are the same race of people. They have just divided and conquered you. And they did it by destroying the family structure. That's how they were able to do it. That's why we need to stop listening to other people. And start so gathering with each other. Possible. But nonetheless, the heathen, everybody else, it's white people, Chinese people, people, African yeah. people, Arab people, part. Hawaiian to people, everybody outside of the nation of Israel did what? And, as always, thank you and holding them Walmart. straight, huh? hindered their building. You know how they hindered your building? We are out here trying to teach our people to stop buying into nonsense and gather together. Right. We're trying to build up our people. The black woman dyes her hair blonde and straightens it to look like the white woman. When God says you look like him in Christ, God says your hair as it is is beautiful sis because God and Christ have hair like yours the Bible calls God the author of beauty That's if right. you look like God and Christ then what is true beauty look like That's right. and why do our sisters go and straighten their hair and dye it blonde to look like their oppressor That's right. why because the heathen lying heavily upon the Israelites hindered the building don't tell that woman that her hair is natural and beautiful the way it is tell her that the white woman is the the, uh, the object of beauty tell her she needs to look like kim kardashian and, and uh or if she is back she's looking like cardi b tell our women they need to uh, prostitute themselves out well into their 40s then be hoping that someone comes and marries them that's right but they've used up their youth Tell our men that they need to be lazy, docile, hide behind their women and children. And meanwhile, they can see that people in their communities are, are oppressing them. Drugs are being sold in their communities. Yeah. Women are being raising their children by themselves. Right. We are building our people. We are building our people because we're telling our people, wake up. Stop falling for the okie doke. Stop right. falling for the stop. Why? If you need to turn the damn TV off, turn the damn TV off. Read. Gather with your people. Because if you don't, these people that are not for your benefit are going to hinder the building of your nation. Right. Right. Verse 73. Read. And by their secret plots. And by their secret plots. Because because is, is a white man going to come to you? Matter of fact, I, I'll use, uh, what's my man's name? Um, nah, not vocab. Uh, what's my man's name? Uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden, right? Is Joe Biden going to come to you and call you a nigger to your face? No. But you know what he will do? He will sign will legislature sign that will destroy executive orders, your communities yeah. for the next hundred years. Yeah. That's what he will do. By their secret plots, their laws, their legislature, read, and popular persuasions. You know what those popular persuasions is? TV, that's right, yeah. music, Tinder. Uh, what's the, the latest uh, uh, app that they got out there? Blowing people's minds. Uh, yeah, TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. By their secret plots and yeah, their yeah, popular TikTok. persuasion, their media, their news outlets, yeah. they what? And commotion, and commotion, they hinder the finishing of the building all the time that King Cyrus lived. Right, so this was talking about during the time of, of when the children of Israel came out of Babylon and were going back to Jerusalem. But it's prevalent to today because today we're trying to build up our people. And you know what they're trying to do? Stop it. That's why they're pushing LGBT in your community. That's right. That's why they're pushing uh, pedophilia in your community. That's why it's such a big deal. They don't care about the adults. The adults are grown. We're destroyed already. If you do repent, right, they're targeting your children. Yeah. So what are you supposed to do? I'm going to give you a commandment concerning your children. Deuteronomy 4. Start at verse 1. This is, this is where it starts. We already destroyed. Yes, sir. We already destroyed. But we can repent and come back. And in our repentance, we need to protect our babies. That's right. Because if not, our babies are going to grow up and make the same or the worst mistakes that we made. Yeah. Right. Watch. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 1. Now, therefore... Hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them. Right. These are the laws of God. God said, hearken unto these things. Focus on these things. This is not a religious book. It is a book of laws, statutes, and judgments. Thou shalt, thou shalt not. 
That's what's in the Bible. You, do you want somebody to steal from you, sis? The Bible says don't do that thing. Do you want somebody to sleep with your wife? No. The Bible says don't do that thing. Where did we th learn that this Bible was religion? I'll give you a hint from this white man. That's right. He took your book and told you it was about religion. Right. And then told you that the most famous man that ever walked the planet looks like him. When the Bible says that this is what Christ looks like. That's right. When the Bible says that this is what God himself looks That's like. Right. So the Father and the Son look like you. The Bible says that the Israelites look like me and you. But this man told you that he looks like him. Then he told you that this is just a mystical book of, of fairy tale stories. This is a book of laws. And I'll get one of those. Drop down to verse 6. Thank you for right? Verse, uh, Walmart. and now to teach thy children. That's it. Like verse 6? Verse 6. Right, read. No, 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 no. It's, uh, 6 and 7. Deuteronomy 6 and 7. My bad. Hold, hold tight. Listen to this. You got children? Yeah. You got children, sis? Are they grown or are they still? They're young? Okay, all praises. Watch, this is a commandment. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children the laws of God. You should teach the laws of God. Christian church doesn't teach you to keep laws. They tell you the laws are done away with. But if that's the case, I can murder you right now. That's right. And God's okay with that. Because the law says, thou shalt not kill. Not, right. oh, well, you can kill, but I'll show you mercy if you do. No, God says the person that kills should be put to death. Right. That's, what their, that's what their judicial system is based. That's why the death penalty exists. That's right. Because the Bible says if you kill a man, you must die. That's, that's righteous judgment from a righteous God. That's not hate speech. That's biblical. Same Bible we say we believe in, right? But nonetheless, you should teach your children the laws diligently, read, and shall talk of them. When thou sittest in thine house, uh -huh. and when thou walkest by thy way, Read. and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Right, all day long, from the time that your children wake up to the time that they go to sleep. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. This is one such loss, sis, you know, because uh, we don't know these things. And then when I... Yes, sir. Well, we don't know these things, sis, and um, we have to begin somewhere. You know, we've been raised our entire life to, to follow a certain... Thing. And we've been programmed with the school we have. system. The we have been programmed. System just but now we have to program system. ourselves with the right thing, being the Bible. So you may have known this, you may have not known this, but this is a law that you can start. You got a daughter, sis? No. You got, you got boys? Okay, understood. You got boys? I got all. Boys. All of them, good. This is a law that we have to teach our sons and daughters. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Right. So the Bible says, that the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, right? right? Right. So I'm looking at both of you. One of you, well, I'll say this. You, you're both dressed like men, according to the Bible, right? That's a law. Is that taught in Christian church? No. No. You know why? Because that don't bring tithes into the business. That's right. Yeah. That don't make people want to put their money in the pot. Telling women, especially the black woman who's in power today, that she needs to wear a dress before God is not in, they don't, they don't want to hear that. But God says, the Bible says we ought to obey God rather than men. So I should follow what God says because God is the one that has the power to kill me physically and kill my spirit. Men can just kill me physically, right? Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And a man shouldn't be wearing dresses and skirts and bras and panties. Read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. God hates them. I know we've been taught that God loves the sinner and hates the sin. Get that in there in Sirach. Sirach 12 and 6. Watch this. Because y'all about to learn the Bible for real today. That's right. You're about to learn what exactly the Bible says. You don't have to take my word for it. You, we all can read. Massa ain't got us in chains no more. So where we can't read and write and here chop our foot and stuff off now. We can pick up the Bible and we can read what God has to say himself. The wisest thing a Christian pastor ever told me was, was what? Uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Steady to show thyself approved unto That's God. Right. That's what a Christian pastor told me. And it was the worst day of his life when he did that. Because when I did start to read it, I started to see, wait, I'm supposed to keep the Sabbath? My wife not supposed to wear pants? I don't, I can't keep Christmas? All this is in the Bible. I'm, the, I'm an Israelite? I'm not a Negro or a black man? Right. Oh, thank you, Christian man, for telling me, read the Bible for myself. Because now, my eyes have been opened. Right. Read what you got. The book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 6. Read. For the most high hateth sinners. God hates sinners. 
God hates sinners because God said, my sister, you are a princess. You are a prince. Keep up the good work. You are wearing pants that's strange to God. That's not how my daughter was supposed to be. Have you ever seen a princess? Think about Disney movies growing up, right? Have you ever seen princesses in Disney movies? Hell, when they were peasants, have you seen them wearing pants? No. No. Even as peasants, Cinderella was wearing a dress. Belle was wearing a dress. Or whoever. Uh, Disney character. Aria, 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 they were all wearing dresses. And when they became princesses and they were empowered, did they put on pants? They put on more beautiful dresses. That's right. And that's the imagery that, that white people and Chinese people teach their children. They teach our women to rebel against that. Because you can't see yourself as a princess or a queen. Your daughter can't see herself as a princess or a queen. God forbid I see myself as a king. A young child was just embarrassed at his school for wearing a shirt that said black king. What's wrong with that? How is that a problem? Except you cannot see yourself as that. Because when you start to see yourself as royalty, their kingdom starts dying. Right. Right. Their kingdom starts... Oh, they, these black people waking up. We have to stop it before the world ends around us. Before God returns and saves them. What happened back in Egypt when, when uh, God came to deal with Israel? What happened to the Egyptians? They died. Did God, we, we're taught that God loves everybody. How come God didn't love the Egyptians? That's right. Why didn't God say, no, 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 Moses. They're my people. And I'm going to save them because I love everybody, Moses. Why didn't God do that? Because God don't love everybody. Right. He loves the Israelites. Right. And he will kill those who oppress his sons and daughters. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.